Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This always happens, guys. I'm really bad. Ugh. Today has been the rough day, guys. First of all, I filmed my live already, and then my live just disappeared out of nowhere. Then I filmed the second live, and I didn't even talk about anything. It's when I'm connected to my Bluetooth. This is not me, pretty, but I appreciate it. I think my hair is getting really long because I haven't had a haircut in a while, but I just did boot camp, so I was actually super sweaty. But I think it's because my skin is getting nicer from the fasting and everything that I've been doing. But, oh my god, why do my videos always start with no sound? I'm always connected to Bluetooth because I do the, the Zoom calls from Bluetooth when I'm doing the music and stuff. But anyway, hold on. Everybody's messaging in the chat. So, what I wanted to talk about today, the video I wanted to talk about today is self-discipline. And I filmed the whole video, and it was live, and it was amazing. And then YouTube somehow cut me off, and then I had to come back. And I filmed like a part two right before boot camp. But I didn't even talk about the main topics I wanted to talk about. So we are talking about self-discipline. And self-discipline means doing what you know you have to do when you know you have to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Okay? So most of the things is that you're never going to want to do the things that you know you have to do. Right? Who wants to go exercise every day? I know you get like a runner's high or like a workout high in endorphins once you get used to it. But at the beginning, it's really like a grind. You have to be like, okay, I'm forcing myself to do that until I love it. Same with fasting. I have to force myself to do it until I start to love it and I start to practice. So it's really that, uh, I hear I'm static. Maybe it's the connection. Um, am, does anybody else hear static? Because I have nothing in the room, so I should be okay. But let me know. We'll figure it out. So, yeah, it's kind of slowly, you know, some days it's, my face always shows it the most. Anyway, we'll figure it out. One day, I will be leaner as well. As you guys know, I use pandemic as all these excuses to allow myself to eat poorly. I didn't have to eat poorly. You guys hear static? Hmm. I wonder why you hear static. What kind of static? Maybe I should stop and start over. What kind of static could it be? I, I wonder what it is. Because it's not. there's nothing around my phone. Okay, anyway, I'll listen to it after and hopefully it will go away. Sorry about that. My God, YouTube is not on my side today. First of all, my live got disappeared. And then second of all, I made the live and then it didn't even post. So that's why I'm filming again. But anyway, so I'm going to show you guys. I have the habit tracker app that I downloaded a few days ago. And I came up with all these new habits. And, oh, that's so frustrating. Maybe I'll just get the microphone next time and I'll try that. Thanks, guys. Um, okay, but well, that's not the right planner. So you guys know I'm crazy for planners. I always talk about this. This is my business planner. This is my workout and my fasting planner. And then I have my everyday life planner there. And the reason I have planners is because I turn everything into a game. If you don't turn it into a game, self-discipline is boring. <laughs> and it's hard because you have to do the things that you don't feel like doing. And you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I have so many things to do. And they're like optional, right? Learning a language is optional. Reading is optional, right? You want to develop yourself further and do these new skills to develop better habits in your life. But they're all kind of optional because they're not like super necessary priorities. So I have like my fasting planner here. I'm just going to show you guys. I always talk about these. My, I always show my boyfriend and then he's like, honey, why don't you go show your friends on YouTube? Because planners are more of a, a thing that everybody else will be interested in. So that's like kind of my planner. I put my workouts in, I put my fasting in, and I put the date, and I put the supplements that I'm taking, etc. cetera. Um, so this kind of like a bullet style of planner. That has all my workouts in it. And, man, I love showing you guys this stuff. I love stationery. Planning just makes me crazy in a good way. I love it. Then this one is my business planner. So I write down, for example, like anybody that I'm coaching one-on-one -on -one, when I have to follow up for the calls or when I have to check the water fasting form every day to reply, check my Instagram every day, post new content on Instagram. I have to make YouTube content, make YouTube lives, answer everybody's comments on YouTube, check the Facebook group, post on the Facebook group, talk about the challenges so people know that there are challenges going on. Like tomorrow, we have two new challenges going on. The first one is a seven-day, they're both actually seven-day water fasting challenges, and I've added a new group. So now there's a 3 p.m. EST group, Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. every day for seven days, 
And then there's the second group, which is the original group at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. So I have those two call groups. And if you guys want to join and have that full accountability to be accountable to holding yourself to that seven-day fast no matter what, then the link is down below. It's the first link in the description, so click that. It's the one that says like MailChimp something something. And all the details are there. Now, I didn't put the 3 p.m. group in that email because I sent out the email before I decided there was a 3 p.m. group. So if you guys want to join, then sign up there and I'll add you into the group chat and then I'll send you guys the info. We do all the calls on Zoom. So Zoom is that thing that everybody's talking about lately. So you can join like that. And that's amazing. Ruby's here. Ruby said you got me through a 10-day fast a few weeks ago. That's amazing. Olivia, I'm waiting for your message and I'll add you to that group. So again, there's the 3 p.m. and the 8.30 p.m. group. So the business planner, I'm kind of not going to show you guys what's in it necessarily because there's some confidential stuff there, but this is the sideways line planner. Then the one that I like for my workout planning is the bullet style one I just showed you guys. Let's see. And honestly, these tools are just tools that make it into a game that make self-discipline not as unbearable because there are so many things we have to do every day. Like we have all these crazy things to do. So that's the bullet style one. And I just put my workouts, my supplements, whether I'm fasting, if I'm doing OMAD, etc. And then this is my habit tracker planner. And I also have it on my phone because I like having the digital copy to go like ding, ding, ding, ding, ding, and make them all green. And then I have my written one. So these are my habit trackers. I haven't checked them today. I haven't checked them yesterday either. I'm kind of behind. And then... Uh, here, like, for example, I'm forcing myself as part of my habits to do a 20-minute booty workout every day. Then I'm doing this two-mile walking per day challenge. Then I'm doing my Mandarin lessons half an hour a day. Then I'm doing reading at least half an hour a day. So I'm trying 30 minutes a day. That's it. That's all. And then, obviously, water fasting. And then the Zoom calls every night. And then the boot camp. And now we're doing two rounds of Zoom calls, so I have to add that to my planner. But there's a lot of things that I have to do. And... I'm not necessarily saying it's the most fun, but I do know that if I force myself right now to do a two-mile walk every day, I will feel better later. And if I force myself right now to learn Mandarin, then it's going to be useful in my life because to have kids and everything like that, my partner, as you guys know, is Chinese, and then it's going to be better when we teach our kids the language, then I can understand what they're saying and they cannot gossip about me. So that's why I'm learning Mandarin. And I'm becoming pretty fluent, so I'm pretty proud of that. But this whole video to tell you guys that like fasting is not easy. It's not easy. So don't expect it to be easy. I know I come on here and I always look strong and I'm always filming these when I'm in a good mood. And you know, I filmed this earlier today when I wasn't in a good mood and I was ranting more. So I wish that video didn't get deleted. And I did the boot camp today as part of the other challenge we run, which is a four week OMAD and intro to fasting program called the Glow Up Program. So we've been doing that for four weeks. And a couple people lost 20 pounds, 15 pounds, and just insane results from last week. Kyle just said hello. Hey, Kyle. Kyle's part of the part of the Glow Up Challenge. And in the last four weeks, he lost 19.6 pounds, and it's probably even more now since that was a couple days ago. So congratulations on you guys. I work my butt off to run all these challenge groups for you guys. And if you ever want to be part of them, it's totally worth it. Every single person that comes is held accountable. And I not only teach you guys about like habit tracking and give you guys that kind of tools, but I also just kind of really force you guys to stay accountable and hold yourself to your goals. And no matter what your goal is, you know, if your goal is to do some reading every single day throughout the challenges, or if your goal is to learn a new language, I will give you those tools to help you, you know, like, for example, I do my language lessons on this program called Pimsleur. And Pimsleur Mandarin is just an audio program where you do 30 minutes a day and you just repeat what it says and then you learn like that. So habit tracking is very, very important. And as you guys can see from my planner obsession, <laughs> is that it's really important. And I'll tell you guys, I haven't made YouTube live videos in a while because I've been kind of having like a writer's block. You know, sometimes... I mentioned this in the live before it got deleted earlier, is that sometimes if I get writer's block and I don't know what to talk about, and then all of a sudden I don't make a live or I don't post a video for a while, I almost like develop this new anxiety and I forget 
how to speak and how to make YouTube videos. And then I, I get like anxiety about getting back into it and making YouTube videos again. But today I just felt super motivated. And this is my third shot. So this one better not disappear. But anyway, so this is kind of just talking about fasting is not easy. Practice makes perfect. I always say this. If you're starting there, you're easing your way into it through OMAD, you're starting a keto lifestyle, and you're getting to it slowly, take baby steps. Baby steps. All you need is baby steps, right? If you're getting into weight loss for the first time and you want to help fix your mood, go for a walk every single day. Give yourself a challenge, okay? Download, for example, that Habit Share app. And like I said earlier, I can't show you guys the app because this is my phone, so I don't have another phone to show you guys the app on right now. But you can imagine that it's here. And it basically, you write down your habit and it's like in seven day increments. So you can say, for example, like exercise on the treadmill or go for a walk three times a week. And then you go bing, bing, bing, and you make them green. Then you can look at it later and you're like, whoa, those are awesome. And you could share those habits with your friends. So let's say someone in the group, like you have an accountability buddy or myself, if you share it with me, then I can see when you're actually doing your habits and holding yourself to it. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. And just the fact that self-discipline is not easy. None of it is easy. Nobody wakes up in the morning like, okay, I'm, you know, in the military and I'm going to do this, this, this, this, this, this, this. And you have to really force yourself to do the things that you don't want to eat. I mean, you don't want to do. And sorry, I was thinking about this book. It's called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. And he basically says like every morning when you wake up, you have to eat that frog. And he says, imagine this analogy that the worst part of your day, like the most tedious, terrible task of your day, imagine that that task is eating a live frog every day, just as an analogy, right? That's like a disgusting thing to eat a live frog every day. So he says, imagine that the hardest part of your day is to eat a live frog every single day. Ew. And he just says, imagine that you have to do that every day. And then you wake up and you don't do it. So then the whole day you're dreading it, you're dreading it, you're dreading it, you're getting this anxiety, you're procrastinating it, and all day you're stressing out that you have to eat that live frog at some point during the day. So that stress is going to carry itself all day until the evening when you have to do it, and then it becomes so much more dreadful. So he says, force yourself to wake up in the morning, and the first thing you do in the morning is the hardest task that you have to do. So whether that is, I don't know what kind of tasks that you guys have in your life, but let's say like reading 30 minutes a day, maybe that's your most tedious task. Or I don't know, for example, if you're in sales and you work a job where you have to do cold calls, then do your cold calls first thing in the morning because that's the hardest part of your day. So that's the whole concept. You eat that frog, right? First thing in the morning, you do the most tedious task. And then you don't need to weigh the habit like weigh on your shoulders for the rest of the day. You don't need to stress it out and think about it and procrastinate it and just anticipate the perceived pain of it all day. You just get it done in the morning. You are done and then that's it. You've done it. You've accomplished the worst part of your day early and then you can actually mentally relax for the rest of your day. So that's another tip. Eat that frog. Do it the first thing in the morning, and once you're done, you're going to feel better all day. So, for example, me, I have to do walking, and I knew I had to do it all day, even though today I did a boot camp workout with our group, so I don't really have to do it, but I feel really hyper right now, so I will go do it, but I was dreading it all day because it's, like, very late now, and now I still have to go do it because I feel like it, but that's a whole different thing. And then I haven't done my Mandarin lessons, but that's just an audio program that I can listen to later. And also the book that I want to read, which I'll probably read on the treadmill because I'm not going to go hardcore. I put it on an incline. I'm going to read my book and go very slowly. So something that I've been trying to do as well is reading every day because reading allows me to have more, what do you say, more knowledge to bring to the table for you guys. So the more I read, the more I develop my own knowledge and the more I have more material to share with you guys. If you don't feel like reading the whole book, I will read it for you and tell you what it's about. So that way I can have more knowledge to bring to the table. So I'm currently reading this book. I don't have it on me. It's over there. It's called Brain Over Binge and I put the link in the comments and it's a phenomenal book because most of it, she basically took this idea from this book called Rational Recovery that talks a lot about addiction in any sense, whether it's alcoholism, drug addiction, food addiction, whatever it is. She takes that kind of information and she puts it in the perspective of people who are addicted to food in terms of binge eating, right? And she brings that to the light and she talks about how you have your animal brain 
and you have your human brain. And sometimes that animal brain is like trying to survive and craving things as an animal would, you know, no rational behavior whatsoever. It just wants it and it wants it and it wants it and you have nothing you can do. You can't control it. You think you can't. But she says she has to take her human brain outside and look from outside into her animal brain and accept that actually she's not hungry. It's just her animal brain that's craving the stuff and she can actually control it, which is what helped this woman who wrote the book actually help get over her binge eating forever. So I'm reading these topics and I'm trying to bring this information to you guys. And I promise I'm going to start making live videos again. I think today by making three videos because it kept disappearing. I have kept having issues with it that now I'm kind of ready to make the live videos again and I have that energy today. And mind you, like I started out the day down here, I was feeling so emotional. I know a lot of you guys saw my Facebook post this morning and I was like, I was down here. I was so emotional for so many reasons and something happened today, very minor and really ticked me off mentally. And I was just really sad. I was down here, but then I was kind of climbing up today, feeling a little bit better. And then all of a sudden I did the boot camp, and it was like, Phew, I feel good. And today I'm fasting. And just all of a sudden, my mood got better, and the endorphins from the workout just made me feel great. So that's just to say that the things that you need to do now are going to be hard. Life is not supposed to be easy, because anything you do in life is kind of going to come to fruition later. So whatever energy you put into it now will pay off in the future. And then in the future, you still keep doing work, but a different kind of work, and that will pay off in the future future. You see what I'm saying? So right now, do all the things that you have to do, and the best way to do that is to get some planner or get a habit tracker like the free one. And they have it on Android, and they have it on um, they have it on the Apple Store too, the iTunes, not iTunes, the Apple Store, whatever. I forgot what it's called. The App Store. The App Store. So you guys can check that out. And I really wish I had my own app. And eventually I'm going to work on creating like a fast forward app because I, I have some amazing ideas for an app that would include the forum and have like calorie tracking and have like a fasting tracker. And I have so many ideas, but there's so much on my plate right now. I don't even know how to start developing an app. Like that's not something that I'm able to figure out right now. But I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that self-discipline is not easy. This morning... I was feeling so down. I didn't want to do anything. And then I forced myself to take a couple things off the checklist. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then all of a sudden, boom, I feel a lot better. Bye, Kevin. Thanks for coming again. I know you're at the live this morning, but I'll see you later. And honestly, like you just need to set yourself up for success. And in order to do that, you really need to track stuff. That's the most important thing. That's why we have the fasting sticky system for fasting, like a mental tracking system. That's why they have habit trackers. That's why they have planners. Because our brain is super mangled and disorganized. So in order to have everything down clear on paper, it's so important, including if you have like a goal or you have a series of goals, write them down, break them down into mini goals and make it more achievable. So write everything down. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk about is, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot, someone, someone say something or ask me a question until I remember what I was going to talk about. Um, okay, I forgot, but I'll just talk about something else and keep rambling until I'll be like, yeah, I remember what I was going to talk about, but it's so important. Oh, okay, I remember. <laughs> so another thing, during this whole pandemic, right, we've all had a lot of excuses and a lot of people have been through crazy, crazy hardships, and it was a crazy time. And a lot of us were fortunate in the fact that, you know, our families are safe and everyone's healthy. And just, we just, you know, the worst thing that happened to us is that we have to stay home away from our friends. And that was the rough part for many people. And a lot of people, including myself, we took this as like an opportunity to let our, like our health just slide, boom, snowball, eating poorly, you know, using the pandemic, which honestly, it caused me a lot of mental stress. It really, really did. And I felt completely overwhelmed with like stress and depression and anxiety, only because we have that compassion for the world. And when we read the news, we see all this insane stuff happening to other people. And it's really painful. But I truly think that I allowed myself to use that as an excuse to slip on my diet and or on my lifestyle in general, because I was not fasting, and I relapsed, and I got back into sugar in that time. And that's why I stopped filming so much. And I mentioned this in some prior videos. 
And that's also why I stopped filming the lives so much because I just had to kind of like wrap myself around my mental health again and just be back on track for you guys so I can bring the energy back for you guys. But one thing that you can do, right, in order to have purpose in your life, because I know a lot of people have been laid off and are not working right now, and then you wake up and you feel like you have no purpose anymore. You wake up and you're like, okay, well, I have two options. I can eat or I can watch Netflix, right? That's what a lot of people are going through, and it's really just makes you feel upset, makes you feel like you have no purpose, right? But there are so many things you can do in this time that you have, right? Like I said, learn a language, learn a new skill, do a course on Coursera, do some new, like, I don't know, learn an instrument. And what you can do is by downloading that habit tracker or by having a habit tracker and writing it down, you have a purpose because you wake up in the morning and you're like, okay, what's on my to-do list today? I need to run two miles or walk two miles. I need to do 30 minutes of my Mandarin lessons. 30 minutes of reading, I need to jump on the Zoom call with the rest of the group, and there are so many things. You'll have a checklist that will kind of like revive you and give you that purpose again. And the best recommendation that I have in order to have all your habits set down is that I would recommend to break them into 30-minute increments, okay? Not more, not less. 30 minutes, okay? So 30 minutes of reading a day, 30 minutes of uh, like a, a language lesson a day, 30 minutes, exactly, Olivia, 30 minutes of yoga a day, maybe 30 minute workout per day, whatever it is. I mean, yoga is a workout, so same thing. And break them down into small, tiny 30 minute goals where you're not feeling so overwhelmed. You're just like, okay, I just need to do a quick 30 minutes. And by the time I'm done, it's going to fly by. You know, we've already been talking here for 23 minutes. So by the time you finish this, you could have been on the treadmill you know, doing a walk or you could have been listening to this video as you're walking for 30 minutes and boom, you got something off your checklist. So that's something I want everybody to do after this call or during this call. Grab a piece of paper and think about what you want to accomplish in life. Do you want to learn a language? Do you want to learn a new instrument? Now is the perfect time to do that. And even when you're working full time, even when you're at the office, if you guys are not eating lunch and you're participating in the fasting focused lifestyle, you can do something every lunch hour when you get your lunch break. When I first started learning Mandarin, I was doing it during my full-time nine-to-five job, super stressful, and I didn't eat lunch because I was doing OMAD, so I would either go for a walk every lunch, which was kind of cool because there was a track right next to the office, or I was doing Mandarin lessons, two lessons every lunch hour, and everybody at the office thought I was crazy because they've never seen that kind of discipline. And I told myself, I said, I want to identify as that person that people look up to for discipline because I haven't always been like this. I was not always consistent with it, but I told myself, I want to be that person who looks like the most self-disciplined person in the world. And that's why I force myself because I make that my identity and that's my identity. That's who I am. I want to be that self-disciplined person. And in order to be that self-disciplined person, I need to act like it. So habit trackers, planners, and doing the things that I know I have to do, even though I don't want to do them. Okay, so that's just telling you guys that I'm not necessarily the best person at this, but I try my best and I make the effort and I put it on paper or I put it on my app and I check it off. Boom, that's all. That's what you have to do. And it's not easy. You will feel overwhelmed sometimes. You will feel exhausted sometimes. And sometimes fasting seems like the last thing you want to do. Because you're like, why do I have to do this? Is there another way to lose weight? I don't know why I have to not eat, especially if you're doing an extended fast and you're on day two or three and you're just depressed. And you're like, I can't eat. Like, there's no point. There's no enjoyment in life. But promise, I promise that when you get a little bit deeper into your fast, day five, day six, day seven, if you're doing an extended fast, boom, that productivity, that mental clarity, that focus will come to you and you will feel great. You will feel like you're on the moon walking on the clouds. And I promise you it's amazing, right? And El Mac, you just said 28 hours into my fast, I'm already struggling. My anxiety wants to take over so hard to watch all the things going on. Exactly. So try to unplug from the news. Try to write down on paper what your whys are. Try to stay busy. Make a list of things you want to do today, tomorrow, and accomplish them. And just keep yourself as busy as you can. Don't let the anxiety take over. Don't let that animal brain take over. Use your rational human brain to remember what your why is and why you're doing this fast. Because it could think, you could think that this is the most depressing thing ever and not eating is hard. And some people think that fasting is a fad diet. You've probably heard that before. But let me tell you something. Our ancestors have been fasting way longer than the three meals a day have been a thing. 
if anything, the three meals a day diet or three meals a day lifestyle with all the snacks in between, that's a fad diet, right? We've been doing the hunter-gatherer type of hunting and feasting and fasting for since the beginning of time. And now all of a sudden people are calling us the fad diet because we're water fasting as if water fasting is a fad diet, right? But it's not. People have been doing this since the beginning of time, before civilization. That's what animals do. They go hunt for their food, they eat it, and then they just don't eat until they're able to eat again next time they hunt. So if you're saying that this is a fad diet, that water fasting is a fad diet, boom, you're crazy. Because three meals a day is fad diet. Breakfast being the most important meal of the day, that's a fad diet. Who introduced that into our life? Kellogg's. Who introduced that into our life? General Mills. All these huge breakfast corporations. Bye, Ruby. We'll see you next time. I'm going to try to make more lives soon, I promise. Like, honestly, like, if you guys like this type of content, I wasn't sure if you guys like the edited videos more or the lives more. Edit is really hard, but the lives are a lot easier for me because I could just jump on sporadically and just talk about stuff. But yeah, self-discipline, important, very important, not fun, important, okay? Do the things now that will make your life easier later. Being overweight, being obese, that's not easy. I always say this. That's hard. That's a whole different type of hard. You have insecurities, okay? You have all these different things. Uh, insecurities, you're feeling self-conscious, you don't want to see your friends, and I was saying this in the other live before it got deleted, maybe now, we can't travel now because of all the restrictions and this whole crazy pandemic thing, but in the past, I used to feel very self-conscious about flying, because I, I was really snugly fit into the chairs and the seats in the airplane, and I felt like I was spilling onto people around me, and that's hard, that makes you feel self-conscious when you can't help but touch the person next to you and it's not really your fault and you feel bad. So you just need to focus on doing the things that are hard now because that's a better hard to choose for the long term than actually doing something and just remaining the same and remaining complacent and it will be hard in the future. Eda, I think you're Turkish. Sen Türk müsün? Çünkü kanalıma geldiysen genelde kanalımda İngilizce konuşuyoruz. Ama belki birkaç tane Türkçe video yapacağım. So I think Eda is Turkish. So she said I can't understand because I don't speak any English. So I tried to let her know that maybe eventually I'll post some Turkish videos. But it's hard on this channel because everybody speaks English. So maybe once in a while I'll film a Turkish video for those of you who speak only Turkish. Because I do want to provide those tools for you guys also. But I will try, try, try my best. But I have to differentiate it because, you know, most of the world speaks English. So mostly I have to make English videos. Also, my Turkish is not this advanced to be able to, to talk about that. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Self-discipline. Do the hard thing now. Your life will be easier in the future. Okay? That's all you need to know. You just need to hear it from me that it's not easy and self-discipline is not easy. And just identify yourself as a person who is self-disciplined and act the way that a self-disciplined person would act until you naturally develop those habits. And then you can add more habits and then you'll be this like crazy superstar monster. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's all I wanted to pop on because I felt so bad that the other video just disappeared and got deleted. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I promise, promise, promise, I will try to film lives. I used to film them every single day. And if you guys like it, let me know down in the comments. I will try my best to film them every day. It is rough. Now we have the 3 p.m. seven-day fasting challenge. We have the 8.30 p.m. seven-day fasting challenge. And we have boot camp Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And those are all on Zoom. So if you guys want to join, again, the link is down below. Or shoot me an email. Or you could come message me on Instagram or Facebook and ask me about the challenges and ask me which one's best for you, depending on your life and how to ease into fasting and stuff. I will give you the best recommendations I can. And I answer every single person. You guys know that. So come ask me the question, Facebook, message, email, whatever it is, Instagram, send me a DM, whatever it is, just message me and we will find the best program that works for you because I do want to help every single one of you. And obviously I cannot help every single person, but I want to help as many people as I can. And I wanted to say again, I didn't make a, an individual video for this, but I wanted to let you guys know that everyone watching right now, everyone subscribed right now, thank you guys so much. You got me to the next milestone and 10,000 subscribers has been this amazing dream that I've had in my head forever. So now I'm on to the next goal and I don't know what that is yet, maybe 20,000 or maybe 50,000 or maybe 100,000 and that's going to take a long time. But I don't know, I'm just really, really, just I'm, I have no words and I'm so grateful and thank you guys so much for watching.
So I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'll try to make a live tomorrow. Tomorrow's a little bit... Tomorrow I have the two fasting calls. No boot camp. Tomorrow I'll probably try to make a live. So let me know if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about. And send me a message if you want to join the Facebook group or you want to join the challenges and things like that. And I will keep you motivated, okay? You guys know... I, my biggest thing is that I want to motivate people. I want to hold you guys accountable to your goals. And I always wanted to be a life coach and a motivational speaker. And weight loss and fasting just happens to be this tool that I wanted to share with my passion for you guys. So in general, like in our fasting groups, I would say that a big part of the success is not only the fasting success, but success in like forcing you to do the things in your life that you know you should do and holding you accountable to those two. So it's almost like a life coaching type of one week crazy intense challenge where you do the things you need to do and that'll give you the momentum to keep going and keep doing that or you can keep joining more rounds of fasting. So that's all I'm going to talk about. I know every time I say bye, I say bye like 800 times and I can't log off because I love you guys, but I'm going to stop rambling right here and I will try my best according to my self-discipline. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to come on live tomorrow. That's my self-discipline. I'm coming tomorrow. Too bad. I don't know what time. Whenever I feel hyper, I will come online, do another live tomorrow, and I'll figure out what topic overnight, okay? So I'll see you guys actually saying bye this time. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. I love you. Write down your habit tracker. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> Have a fascinating. <laughs>